820 here, Big 550 KTRS. Well, KTRS is thrilled to have our uh, next guest as part of the KTRS team, and he's uh, one of the uh, Cardinal favorites, and now he's uh, instantly one of your favorite hosts here on the Big 550 KTRS. Former St. Louis Cardinal, great guy, and an average shot with the rifle. Good morning, Danny Cox. <laughs> Good morning, guys. How you doing? You got it. The outdoor show. Uh, normally, it's on Tuesdays, but last night it uh, aired. Welcome to Big Five Fifty KTRS. So, uh, Danny, t- the idea of the show is a uh, bunch of guys talking hunting and fishing, right? Yeah, you know, just uh, telling some stories. Not only telling stories about uh, you know growing up, uh, who got them started hunting and fishing. Uh, was it their mom or their dad, their grandpa, and you know, and just uh, you know what was sports they played. Uh, growing up you know back then there were no domes i mean everything was outside so uh you know just uh basically enjoying some of the things that uh these professional uh, ball players whether it's hockey football you know whatever the sport may be and what they enjoy about the outdoors and uh, the things they do to pass it on the charities they're involved in you know life after the game and you know all those kind of things it's uh it's just kind of a, a fun time, and it's uh, lighthearted, so to speak. You know, puts a smile on your face. You have you've made so many friends inside the game, outside of the game. You you bring the friends on the show and have great conversations, Danny. But over the years, have have the fish gotten bigger, and have the bucks have the <laughs> bucks they gotten? Do, don't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but I tell you, it's uh, you know, I've had the opportunity to to fish with Whitey and and Red and you know hunt with both those guys. So not only did I grow up as a, as a young man and, you know, Red as a coach and Whitey as a manager, I, I learned a lot from them and to enjoy some of those experiences was, you know, really meaningful in my life to, to enjoy that aspect of, of those men and learn so much from them. It was just a, you know, a great time, just a lot of good things. Uh, is it true when Mike Shannon goes hunting, he brings his, his, his cell phone with him? You know, I have not hunted with Mike since they had cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's been a while since I hunted with him, but we used to go down to Kentucky and uh, shoot quail and pheasant all the time. It was just a like a put and take place, and we'd go down there for a couple of days and just uh, have at it, you know, and sit around and shoot the breeze after the hunt. Just a just a good old time. Yeah. So he was on the show a couple of years ago, and he was whispering, and I'm like, Mike, where are you? He's like, I'm in a duck blind, quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's him, though. He's always, uh, you know, he's out doing some kind of hunting, and you know, him being down in jupiter and before that down in st pete down that way he was always out uh, deep sea fishing doing a little offshore a little inshore as a matter of fact i went fishing down there a couple times with him and uh, yeah he's a great guy to be around man yeah. just a blast real kick danny cox with us former cardinal pitcher now host of the outdoor show that's tuesday nights here on ktrs now you you got a you got a national get danny cox uh benji molina did that air last night Yes, I believe so, and and it's uh, you know it's it was great to have Benji on and and talk to him and his book's called uh, Molina, the story of the father who raised an unlikely dynasty, and I tell you what, talking to him, you can just tell in his voice how much he respects and loves both his mom and his dad, and you know it's 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 good good to hear that that you know these kids growing up and what their mom and dad the sacrifices they made for them, and it was really something that. It was nice to hear that, you know, given uh, that the parents are there and the kids are just a real love for each other in that family. And so you had a chance to sit down with Benji Amelina, who's written the book, who's, of course, Yadier's brother. And there was there was three of them, right, who made other major leagues as the catchers? Yeah, three. Yeah. How yeah. about that? Yeah. You know, hey, I'm happy I made it. <laughs> you know, here we got uh, three brothers who uh, can sit around and they got World Series rings and they can just talk talk baseball they're all in the big leagues i mean that's if you think about it as a as a kid or a boy as a man it would be something pretty cool to have yeah absolutely Mm -hmm. all right so uh going forward what can we look for who who are some of the guests uh, you've got lined up for the show i got larry walker be on next week there you go yeah so we got him i saw him down and we do the legends camp down in florida and i never had the opportunity to play you know with larry right my days were done when he came in but uh, what a great guy so we're going to sit around and shoot the breeze he he lives in jupiter now so we're just going to shoot the breeze and talk about his outdoors and his love for the game i know he's a big hockey fan so i'm going to bring some of that up i think uh, his team his favorite team's uh the canucks so we got the blues and uh 
Maybe the Canucks. You never know. Yeah, Danny Cox. Last question for you. One, 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 one baseball question for you. Who was the who was the guy who you couldn't get out, and who was the guy who you who 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 owned you, and who did you own as a baseball player? Well, I can I can talk about it now. I never really liked to talk about it when I was playing. I don't want to jinx myself one way or the other, you know. But yeah. uh, Howard Johnson was a was a tough out for me. He he hit everything off of me but a solo home run. <laughs> you know, he just uh, for some reason me and Todd he had our numbers, but uh, I always pitched well against uh, Andre Dawson. Andre Dawson, I the just, Hawk. Yeah, for some reason, boy, I just made some real good pitches to him, and he. Hit it to somebody, and uh, you know that's that's all you want to do. But yeah, uh, all right, cool. Yeah, two good players there. Yeah, Hojo, uh, Danny Cox, former Cardinal, now host of the Outdoor Show. It's every Tuesday here on the Big Five Fifty KTRS, and it's a bunch of guys sitting around uh, uh, talking sports, talking uh, talking hunting, fishing. Uh, take calls every once in a while, Danny, or no? No, no, uh, we don't, McGraw. It's uh, me and my co-host Lou Telvin. We uh, just get them on there. Sometimes they come in the studio. We do the studio down at the uh, Bush Stadium sometimes, and sure. Lou's got something set up in his office, so we go over there and do that when uh, our producer, Jim Jackson, who does the radio for the Cardinals, sure. uh, on the road, so we get it done that way, but uh, yeah, we just sit around and uh, do a show and talk and have some laughs. Yeah, great. Well, enjoy d- it. Danny, you're always welcome here. If you ever want to plug in thing or you want to come down and talk a little, uh, talk a little hunting, fishing, uh, base, baseball, hockey, whatever you want to do, you're always welcome here, and uh, we love to have you on the Big 550 KTRS. Well, I'm glad that we are on the Big 550. I really enjoy the opportunity, and I hope uh, everybody listens to the show and enjoys it. Danny Cox, former Cardinal, host of the Outdoor Show, Tuesday nights here on the Big 550 KTRS. Danny, we'll, we'll see you down the road. You got it, McGraw. Take care, bud. You got it. Uh, Danny right. Cox, one of the really, 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 really good guys. Uh, guy pitched here. And you know, uh-huh. took took Whitey's advice and said, you know what? Know the community, get into the community, live live in the community. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, give back to the community. And uh, Danny Cox is one of those fully just, embrace the community. Just a really good guy. Mm-hmm. Terrible hunter. He's a terrible <laughs> shot, but he's Come a really on. good guy. <laughs> uh, Eight twenty-seven here, Big Five Fifty KTR.